we know you love free and unlimited image generators. We've found another one that you're definitely going to like. It offers model selection and mysterious concepts. It's honestly surprising that it's so freely available. But hey, we're not complaining. Our hero today is Mage, a web service that lets you create high-quality images from text descriptions in great resolution. Completely free, without limits or watermarks. And it even offers model selection and pre-configured generation options. You don't often see that in free services. To make sure you get the best experience with this truly great tool, we recommend watching the video till the end. We'll guide you through the interface so you don't get lost, explain what concepts are, generate some examples, go over common mistakes, and figure out how the unlimited feature actually works. The service is available at mage.space. Once the site loads, it might seem like you can start using it right away, but you do need to log in first. The main page is divided into three sections, the navigation menu, the workspace, and the results panel. The menu contains links to various sections of the site, including the home page, the generation settings page, social features, and the user profile. Below that, you'll find links to recent posts and the service settings. The multitude of elements filling Mage's workspace might seem overwhelming at first, but in reality, it's not as complicated as it looks. At the very top, there's the prompt bar, followed by various auxiliary elements, and below that, the library of models and concepts. To get started, let's try a simple generation. Enter a text prompt and hit the Start button. In about a minute, sometimes longer, the image will be ready. The generated image can be opened, saved to a private gallery, or published. You can also view and copy the prompt and other original information. To download the image to your device, scroll through the horizontal menu to the end and click the appropriate icon. Let's go back to the main window. Below the prompt field, there are several buttons. On the free plan, you can only fully use one of them. Inspire Me, which generates a random prompt. But honestly, it's not that useful. Below, there is a block with information about the selected generation option, along with the Advanced button, which, like the corresponding item in the menu, opens the image creation settings. Unfortunately, for free users, most of these options are unavailable, except for one, the aspect ratio. Let's change it and generate an image with new proportions. Yes, it actually works. Changing any other generation parameter triggers a message like this. Not very informative, right? Sometimes, just accidentally moving one slider can cause the service to throw an error, giving the impression that the unlimited feature is gone or you've been blocked. In such cases, the Restore button can help. It resets the settings to their default values. And once again, we return to the main page to explore the area with three tabs, Featured, Models, and Concepts. This is where you can choose generation models and those mysterious concepts. Let's start by switching to the second tab, Models, where all the available models on Mage are listed. Currently, the free plan grants access to three of them, Flux Schnell, Stable Diffusion Turbo, and Stable Diffusion Medium. We recommend using Flux. It's fast and produces high quality results. Next, let's open the third tab, Concepts. Concepts are pre-configured combinations of models, styles, prompts, and generation parameters. They allow you to quickly achieve the desired visual result without the need for manual adjustments. Among the popular concepts are ready-made sets for creating portraits, anime, comic art, amateur photos, and more. The selection is quite large, although free users have access to only about 40. To avoid searching through the entire list, let's open the first tab, Featured. In the Free on Mage section, you'll find all the concepts available without a subscription. Keep in mind that this list isn't static. Some concepts occasionally disappear, while new ones take their place. Let's choose one of the concepts, enter a prompt, and start the generation. Let's try another one, with a different prompt, and one more. 
looks like we got a bit carried away. But let's do one more. This time, definitely the last one. As you may have noticed, the generated images appear on the results panel. However, over time, they tend to disappear from there. Where can you find them afterwards? The answer isn't all that obvious. We'll get to that a bit later. But first, drop a comment. What do you think about the quality of the generated images, and do you like the concept idea? In our opinion, it's quite an interesting solution that allows you to quickly get the desired visual result. But how do you find something interesting among such a vast number of images? That's where Mage's social interaction tools come in handy. They allow you to explore other users' creations, find great examples, and get inspired. The first one is the user post feed, where you can conveniently track, sort, comment, and like other users' creations. From there, you can also view user profiles and follow them. Plus, you can share your own works and get feedback. The second option is the gallery. It's a more compact way to browse users' creations, allowing you to spot trends and find great examples of concept usage. You can also sort artworks here, although with fewer filtering options. The third tool is the leaderboard, where you can see the list of users who have made the most significant contributions to Mage. Now, let's take a look at your profile. This is where you'll find all your creations, specifically in the History tab. The Saved tab allows you to store your most successful artworks, while the Posts tab contains your own posts, liked works from other users, and your comments on them. You can also customize your profile's appearance and check your statistics, including the number of published works, followers, and followings. Mage allows free users to generate images without limits, but some features are only available with a subscription. Paid plans provide access to faster generation, all models and concepts, and various additional tools. Higher tier plans unlock support for custom models, high resolution generation, request queuing, and unlimited video generation. Mage is one of the few AI services that offers free and unlimited access to high quality image generation without watermarks. That's truly rare. Plus, the ability to test concepts and the well-developed social features are a nice bonus, definitely worth your attention. The downsides are a somewhat confusing and slow interface and strict moderation on the free plan, which can block even fairly modest prompts. Overall, it's a great platform for those who want unlimited generation, definitely worth bookmarking for anyone interested in generative AI.